Hi, my name is Akash Singhartor. You're watching my YouTube channel, Views, Reviews, and Interviews. And today I'm going to be reviewing this book, The Essential Ambedkar, edited by Valchan Mungekar, published by Rupa in 2017 at a cost of rupees 395. This is an anthology of Ambedkar's writings. These are um, Ambedkar's texts, not Mungekar's. And Mungekar has selected from the, you know, the huge corpus of Dr. Ambedkar's writings, he selected what he thinks is the essential Ambedkar, what everybody should read in one volume, you know, instead of having to cope with 17, 20, and, and, uh, and so on. Now, if you're going to bring together an anthology of Ambedkar's works, you have a kind of bar to, to surpass. And that bar is set, of course, by Valerian Rodriguez, whose The Essential Writings of B.R. Ambedkar has been the classic Ambika anthology for many, many years. This was published by Oxford University Press, which means it's targeted more towards an academic audience, and which also means it's a bit more expensive. This is probably twice the price of, of uh, Rupa's um, collection. Nevertheless, even though this is probably targeted at more the lay reader than the academic reader, like Blair and Rodriguez's book, one has to ask, has Professor Mungeka brought value by bringing out a new uh, anthology? And the answer to that, well, let me wait on giving you the answer to that. First, ask you to uh, support uh, what I'm doing here, which is trying to bring Dr. Ambedkar's own writings and writings about Dr. Ambedkar to the wider uh, uh, community. Um, so if you can just press the thumbs up button, and if you were so kind, you could actually share this video and other videos on my channel, and that will get um, books about and by Dr. Ambedkar out to a wider community of people than who would normally be introduced to them. So back to the question. What does Mungeka's book do? How does it add value? And this is actually challenging because, as you know, what you find in these kinds of books and these anthologies is, in fact, available for free online. You could download the entire collection of um, the, the uh, Maharashtra state government's uh, collection of uh, the uh, writings and speeches of Dr. Ambedkar uh, for free on the MEA website, for example, and on other websites. So what do these anthologies in general do? And what does this one in particular do in order to bring new value over the, the, the earlier available options. Well, I think what it really does is it allows a general reader to get comfortable with Dr. Ambedkar's writings. This is not designed for scholars. Um, as a scholar myself, the first time I went through this book, I was hugely disappointed. And then I finally realized that this isn't written for scholars. This is a book that is created for uh, lay reader to, to introduce not people who are going to write papers or write books about Ambika, but people who just want to read Ambika in his own words. And if that's the target and that's the aim of this book, then Mangika actually has brought something of value, even something over what Blair and Rodriguez has done in, in this, what is really a masterpiece, but a masterpiece for scholars and academics. This is much more, let's say, reader friendly in a way. Uh, it's less expensive, and as I mentioned in the beginning, the quality of this book is just outstanding. I love the cover, love the way it feels, the glue is good, got, uh, the production of this book is good, the pages are fantastic, the print is very large. This is just a wonderful book to, to, uh, to hold in your hands, to carry around and, and to read. Now, that doesn't mean it is without faults. One of the biggest faults of this book is the way that the material um, doesn't uh, give you enough context about where uh, it's from. So, for example, I randomly opened it up to chapter 3, Philosophy of the Hindu Religion, section 3.1, Philosophy of Religion. Now, you see, nowhere on this page does it tell you where is this writing from. What you will find, so let's go to the end of the selection, somewhere, yeah, now down, come down to the next page, and you'll see here, I know you can't read it on the video. It's written here, B-A-W-S, volume 3, pages 5 to 6. Wonderful. So what I get now is that this selection is taken from another collection of books. The point I'm trying to make is that as a reader, 
I don't want to know which other book this material comes from so that I have to then go and find that other book and find out where did Dr. Ambika write this, in what year, what was the context. I want to know here, what is this, uh, to whom did Dr. Ambika address this critique of Hinduism? In what forum? Was it in uh, Janta? Was it in a, a, a speech that he gave? Um, was it in an essay that he published? Is it part of a book that he published? And in what year? Because if this is from 1927, it might be very different from what Dr. Ambedkar might have written in 1945, for example. Now, um, Mongeka unfortunately doesn't give us any kind of context, and that extends even further to the fact that he has not written any kind of substantial introduction to this uh, collection. All we get in the introduction that Mongeka has written, a two or three page long introduction, is a kind of encomium. Rightfully so, because uh, Mongeka, I know him, uh, fairly well. He is a, a very, very um, a proud and inspired uh, um, advocate of uh, Dr. Ambedkar. And, 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 you know, Ambedkar's writing and work is imprinted all over Mongeka and his uh, actions, what I've seen him do at the Planning Commission and other places. So it's nice that there's a kind of, you know, um, introduction in praise of Ambedkar, but what we need um, uh, more than that, when we're reading through all of these, is to understand the context of what Ambika was doing, where he was publishing, where he was speaking, what, and you know, in what month and what year and in what circumstances. And we don't get any of that here. On the contrary, of course, as I'll discuss in another review, um, the introduction that Valeria and Rodriguez provides in the essential writings of the Ambika is, is really one of the best I've ever read. I've read it so many times and I learned something new from it uh, each time. But uh, Mungika has unfortunately failed to provide either in the way that he cites the original from which he takes his passages or in the introduction. He's failed to provide any, any context. And I think that's harmful, not just for uh, a scholar or an academic, uh, academic's appreciation of the book, but I think that's harmful even for just the general reader. Now, one other issue is that as I show you that reference is to BAWS, every single thing in this book comes from BAWS. BAWS is, of course, this um, government of uh, Maharashtra collection of Ambedkar's writing. Um, this is all available for free online, but of course, many people like to have the physical book. Unfortunately, the government has failed to make this book widely available in uh, its physical copy. It's almost, I mean, it took me years to find, to find this set. Um, and. Uh, you know, years of struggle. So it's not easy to get your hands on, on this. But uh, the, the thing is that why is every single thing in this anthology from the, from the Boss collection, why don't we get new material? We should have some access to the letters of Dr. Maker and a few other writings that have come up uh, from the archives uh, over the last few years since um, the government stopped publishing these, these books. Now, the presentation in this book is fairly straightforward, chronological, fairly standard. The material is, of course, just all of that writing spread out through volumes 1 to 17 of BAWS. It begins with uh, an essay on, on caste, which is from volume 1 of BAWS. And then you've got about three chapters um, on Hinduism, the Hindu social order, and the Hindu religion, and so on, um, all available in BAWS. Um, and then uh, we get... A few chapters on Dr. Ambedkar's um, uh, economic thought, and I think uh, Mungeka spends a little bit more time on the economic thought, him being an economist. Um, then you get a couple of chapters, as always, on the Constitution. You get, the, uh, towards the end, you get thoughts on linguistic states, you get uh, selections from Pakistan on the partition of India, and um, this is all very standard and fairly chronological. The one thing that is in uh, Mungeka's collection that is not in Blair and Rodriguez's collection is uh, one chapter devoted to um, uh, the, uh, the emancipation of women. Now, as uh, myself, the editor of uh, uh, Dalit Feminist Theory, um, I think a, a, lot, a great deal more attention needs to be spent on uh, Ambedkar's work with respect to um, uh, women's emancipation. 
So I'm glad that uh, Mogheka includes uh, that essay, which I think is uh, absent from, from Rodriguez. Now, as a general introduction for the lay reader, I think this is an excellent book. At rupees 395 and probably available at a discount, so maybe rupees 350, I think it's definitely worth having. It does have those shortcomings I was uh, uh, mentioning, the, fail the, the lack of context, the lack of an introduction, the lack of proper citation so that we don't know where and when Dr. Ambedkar gave these talks or wrote these uh, pieces. But uh, on the whole, I cannot carry around 17, you know, actually 20 plus uh, physical books like this. And so it's great to have um, Mungeka's The Essential Ambika to carry around with me when I uh, go out to, to read Ambika in his own words. So that is my review of, um, of uh, The Essential Ambika. I will be reviewing other books like uh, Blair and Rodriguez's in the future. If you like this content, please do give it a thumbs up and I would appreciate if you uh, uh, commented, gave me some feedback, um, maybe shared the video or other videos, and stay tuned for, for more views, reviews, and interviews on this channel.